Welcome to part two of my top ten favorite NES games. This is number one, Super Mario Brothers 3. Continuing from part one, while we are in world three. I just played this level in the last video and failed. those guys. Okay, I think I know where to go this time. Maybe not. I do not want that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that guy too. If you go far enough away, it'll disappear. lower in the water than the last one does. Oh, that was just nasty. That guy could swallow me in one bite. So power-ups don't always necessarily mean anything in this level. Whoa. I better stay up here for now. Oh wait. Okay. Hey, I don't need the coins. Suit. Frog suit makes it really easy to swim. You don't have to keep tapping the jump button, you just move. This is an area where it would have been. would not have helped in. Let's 
Vegas fail with another one. As I said at the beginning, I usually make only one out of 20. So far I've made one out of six. Bombs, which originally were created in Super Mario Brothers 2. Now they're back, except for now they're, they're mechanical in this game. They got these wind up things on them. The second block there has a fire flower in it. hold on to for a certain amount of time and they disappear. So maybe use them kind of quick. I can't remember which way I want to go. I guess that's the right way, although if I would have went to the left, it might have been a bonus little area where I could have gotten coins or some kind of goodies. And here's the last castle of World 3. Got some dinosaur with a... Looks like a hat stuck on his butt. It's supposed to be a shell though. I guess he's some form of turtle. With hair. Jumping on it, you can ride across, but otherwise you can fall through if you don't keep jumping. It's not too important in this particular stage, but as you go on, there's more of them that kind of helpful. I got part one done. I got I'm working on part two right now. I probably won't get part three done until Saturday. Reading the white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. When close the jewel that helps protect your princess torch to another music block and I hope that doesn't replace anything. Oh cool, okay, I had room. This might be the wrong way. Yeah, I always do that. Oh, 
Oh, I don't want this. This is the correct pipe. This is, by the way, World 4 is called Big Land, or gi no, Giant Land. And as you see, everything is gigantic. Except for Mario. Except for his Mario's nose. That's the only thing. Big and Mario on this level. get through that part. Now I haven't really explored this level too much. I just always run, jump, and kind of float down and always land on this item here. Pipe. the end of World 7 in this video. That'd be kind of cool. And we got another one of these stages, except for everything is huge. Whoa. That was... Well, okay, now that was really, that was lucky. I just happened to swing my tail at the right time. Okay, what is in this star? Yep. Fancy playing there. One part was. Unfortunately, I can't take credit for that one in that pipe. That was luck. I'll go ahead and show what the music book luck does here. Puts those guys to sleep so you can walk right past them. But it's only does that for two stages. See, once I go into this mushroom house, come back out, I'll still be sleeping. But after I go into another area, like a level or a... Let's say there's another mushroom house close by. Second time, he'll be away. So after playing level 3, he'll end up waking up. You don't want to be on the ground when that guy lands. Standing on the ground when he lands, kind of stunned you, and you can't move for a few seconds. Yeah, even the spinies drop and spin. I'm not sure if you can. Oh, I wanted to see if you could jump on them. I wasn't sure. I've never actually tried. Or if I have, I don't remember. You can't hit them with your tail, though. That doesn't make sense. You can't jump on top of them, but you can pick them up from the side. And it's like... Your chances of getting hit by the spikes are more likely on the side than, the, than on the bottom of them. I hate 
those things are useless. Try this nasty level again. That was quick. Here's an idea. Beat this fool. Go in either the side pipe or top pipe, you're gonna end up the same spot. What? How come my he wouldn't move? Yeah, sometimes I gotta cheat. You know, I'd really hate to have to use a P-Wing in this level. I mean there's I always have this problem in this game, it would be one of the easiest levels that I end up struggling on. Most of these levels I beat like kindergarten. The other times I play them will take like three or four times. I got to waste one of those things again. Didn't need them. Didn't need it. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Walking flames. But I like the ghost. They turn and stop when you they only come after you when you got your back turned. stay on the low side. That was close. See, so you got things fall falling from above. At least if you're down low, you can see where they're falling from. You have time to maneuver around before they hit you. See, you get high and something like that happens. Okay, see I'm getting a lot of room here now. I can put six items in there again, so... I might be using one of those spades pretty soon. mushroom. See, I, I usually skip these. I don't even notice them there half the time because they don't interest me at all. I usually fail all the time. It's getting to the point where I'm better off guessing. Okay, what do I get out of this guy? I get a star out of one, so oh cool, peeling. I can't always remember exactly what each one gives, but I'm 
this is the one where they introduced the yeah the ricocheting bullets or the boomerang bullets whatever you want to call them they shoot out to a certain point and they turn around and come back here's where we're gonna oh I missed it that one too. Oh, here's where we get the teddy bear. It looks like a teddy bear. It gives you the full raccoon suit. It has the same ability as the leaf, but if you press down and attack, you can turn into the suit of armor for a brief period of time where fireballs and enemies go right through you. Check this out. You can also stomp on the plants with those using that suit. Uh oh, I didn't lose it already. That was nasty. Well, I guess we're not going to get to see much of that until later on. Probably next video. through that door there and it'll shrink everything to normal size. Go back through a second time and I'll grow it back to this size. That was nasty. That was just downright cheating. Like that pool. Okay, that was kind of worthless. Help me through one bad guy. I don't want to get that spade there until I am minus six items. I only got minus five from the end right now. And this is going to make it only four. I guess what I could do, check this out. I'll get two flowers. Okay, I gotta remember which one I'm on here. Okay. Okay, that was just nasty. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one, that's why. So there's one flower in my box. Another flower, I'll go ahead and get a mushroom. Now I only have room for one more item, I'd rather have mushroom than the star, so first I'm going to get the star. Oh, okay, I failed. I was going to get this star, which would go into that last spot, then I'd get another star, which would replace that star, then I'd get the last mushroom, which would replace the star, and I'd have mushroom instead of the star. fail. This would be a good place to have that suit of armor. Or no, wait. 
Okay, this isn't the one I was thinking it was. like world, uh, a lot of the levels in World 7. Lots of pipes. Yeah, I want that thing there. Firepower is better than nothing. Every time you jump on it, rotates like right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up. Now if I had the... Okay, never mind. I was going to say if I had the leaf or the tail, I could fly up there, but I can get up there anyway, and I think there's an extra light. I get my suit back. No, I don't. If I had the tail, I could go up and break those blocks up there, and there's a bunch of coins. It's kind of weird that all these kings keep getting transformed and Toad just happens to be there every time. Makes you wonder if he's doing it. Dirty little crazy mongrel. Probably get some kind of sick pleasure out of transforming kings into different characters and he goes and acts like he's all distressed about it. Starts freaking out and jumping all over the place just to make Mario get a workout. Right now he's probably laughing at me. Oh, that was kind of close. So was that. It's kind of weird how Mario's whole body turns to a shade of orange when he's got firepower in this game. Is that the leaf? Yes it is. jump down there, but you know what? Oh, maybe there, I can't tell if there's anything down there or not. Okay, I guess I would have been okay. It's 
you don't give right there is dirty. There's like no way to do that. Plan that out. See, some of these jumps take skill, but you know, every once in a while they put a something in there where no matter how much skill you got, you can't avoid it. They cheated. This should give like a split second before the other one shoots out. So you get just enough time to get from one to the other. See, look at Toad. He's laughing at me right now. He probably transformed him into the creature now he's laughing that I went through all that trouble. Greetings, the thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. I have him close to jewel that helped protect the princess Tosu on another P-Wing. I want to go ahead and use a music block because I don't want to risk getting an item that's going to replace my P-Wing. Music blocks are useless because I like to get items out of those characters, so. You know, I have no reason to put them to sleep. Okay, that's never happened before. The star usually comes goes down. Maybe that was like a glitch. This is actually one of my favorite worlds, World 5. Oh, this is tricky right here. Two ways to go, you can either go down or up. Without the leaf, sometimes it's hard to get up here, but I made it. extra lives here. That's where you hit the box and you can see a dark background behind it. sometime in, in the game. Not right now, but... Here's where I'm going to get Goomba's shoe. Remember uh, Princess Totsu leaving a message about getting Goomba's shoe? Here's where you find it. Stop on your enemies using Goomba Shoe. In the All Star version, for some reason, she calls it Karibu Shoe. You can stop on plants with this thing, too. Spinies. You walk on these things.
Oh. Gotta jump on this one. If I have a star for my cards there, I'll try to get rid of this shoe by the end of the stage so I can get a good run, because you can't really run in this thing. I got a flower, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to carry the shoe with you and use it in other stages. It's, it's a one time thing. Cool, another P Wing. life every time I fail at that thing and I I'm doing a lot better off. I get a couple of leaps in this stage. Here's one of them up here. The other one in that block right there, but there's no point in getting it unless I, I might get hit up here and I can always go back and get it. Whoa, that was close. That was kind of close too. You want to have a, you want to have your tail for this board, just to make it more fun. Here's where you get all your coins. A 
lot different from the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 2. They made that game way too much, way too challenging. It was too similar to the first game, which was the main complaints about the game when they came out with it. And this game just offers so much more fun and less of a challenge. I'm not to say it's, there is no challenge, but it's challenging enough where you practice at it, you get better at it, you beat it. And it's not like overly too much practice where you get sick of playing it. And there's a wide variety of difference in this game compared to the last one. Oh! Yeah, that was like just full of fail. Usually I get a good run and I can fly. Okay, now I'm going to die again. Okay, I've never seen this part of this board because I've never failed as bad as I'm doing right now. I usually fly over all of this. This is usually where I land. That is crazy. I've never seen that part of, of that level before. I usually always run and fly. Again. Oh, no, I did not want that. Oh, I get room for another one. Hey, another one of those things. I usually use this suit for the very final castle. so far this game like it I don't have any stars. Yeah, I do. Hey, 
what happens. I don't care if I lose it, so I'll show you what happens if you get an item when it's full. It covers up your last item and you lose it, so I really don't care though, I don't care about the music box. This level right here is really hard, I probably won't pass it. I really don't need to pass it. every time I die at some point in it. But you don't need it. You just move on to the next level. Whoa. Okay, that's really weird because Mario's outfit blends in with the background. It'd be kind of distracting. There's this guy that walks by, just let him walk off the edge. I believe there's a star coming up up here. And that didn't, did absolutely nothing for me. Yeah, look at that leaf when blends in with the background. Whoa. Pretty close. I got about 10 minutes of video before I'm going to end it. Okay, what level is this? I don't remember this one. Off. Okay, now I do. Die, fool. Oh, this one's really hard. You got these big exploding balls with tails on them, like fire tails. They shoot fire at you. I don't think we've seen them yet in this game. I think this is where they first appear in this stage. Right there. jump on them too, so that's kind of cool. Otherwise you just leave them alone and eventually, over time, they'll blow up. See, I always die in this board. Sometimes I have to use my P-Wing here. I'll try a fire though. If I don't make it this time, then maybe I'll go ahead and use a leaf and then a P-Wing. Skip the. I just go with the P wing. No, I actually got a better idea. Well, do I have any clouds left? No, I don't. Go ahead and use a P wing. We just fly through the whole stage.
makes it pretty easy. Hear that boom? That was the other one exploding. He's gonna be exploding too. There you there it happened. See that board is really not that long. I hate the fact that I had to waste a peeling on a board like that. See now when I move into the next level I'll still have the raccoon tail. But I won't have I won't be constantly flying. It only it's only good for one level. I never understood, I've mentioned this so many times, but I never understood why they showed points in games like see at the bottom of the screen. I got 686,840 points. I mean, what's the purpose of that? Who keeps track of how many points they've got in this game, or any game? I guess see if you got like an extra life or something for getting a certain amount of points. Like an elevator action, you get like 10,000 points to get an extra life. There might be some other games where it helps. I can understand on arcade games when you got tons of different people. Okay, that was cheating. But arcade... Arcade games when you got a bunch of different people playing the game. I'm gonna die here. I might have to use another P wing just to pass this stage. Cool. Now I'd like to push this recording this video as far as I can until the battery goes low because I'm using my better battery in this one. It'll probably go an hour and a half. The only problem is I have to pee really bad. And a world six. No, oh, don't tell me that's going to replace something. Okay. This is a really terrible board to look at. It just makes almost makes your eyes sort of this ugly. It looks like a I used to work for this company called FPG and the supervisors had shirts that looked like this background. my favorite jobs I had. I worked there for like six years and the last year I worked there was pretty fun times. I was getting a lot of hours working 65 hours a week. But I loved it. like any Mario game when you're in the ice levels, you slide all over the place. I've seen that Super Mario Bros. 2 in World 4, you slide all over just about every level. And of course I gotta have an auto scrolling board of ice. This is where the tail comes in useful.
version. They don't have that ugly background like change it. Yeah, the second game. Oh, that was failed. The 16 bit game, Super Mario All Stars of this, they did a lot of changes to the graphics in all the Mario games. Do I have any stars left? I don't. So I'm going to have to try fighting them without a star. Look at that. Three hits. I just can't. That's just obscene. Die, fool. I wasn't even really looking, I was looking at the back of my camera to see how much time was on here. I think after this stage, or maybe after the one after this one, I'm going to end the video. just slightly. I just want to... I think it'd be cool to end on uh, beating a castle level. Or, oh, this is where the suit comes in handy. experimenting in this game today. Things that I've never tried before, like jumping on them and using the suit of armor. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. We're a little over the one hour mark, and when we come back to the game, we'll go ahead and continue from the same spot, so hope you're enjoying the game, and I'll see you in the next video, which I probably won't record until Saturday. So, hope you're enjoying the my number one favorite NES game, and I'll see you in the next video, part three.